Hey guys, Technomentary with the video for you guys. So I finally downloaded iOS 14 on this iPhone XS or the iPhone XS and wanted to kind of show you guys how it looks. As you can see here, the iOS 14 does come with some of the pretty cool updates here. It also, it's supposed to be an update that's kind of maintenance update, but not really. There are some pretty cool features with this phone. First thing you'll notice is that, of course, the here wallpaper, they added three different new wallpapers that weren't there before. So I was able to change it to one of the newer ones. And then this whole big rumored kind of widget that's available on Android devices where you're able to have grouping of widgets and you're able to move around. As you can see, I'm able to put this whole widget here for the weather app and I can edit it to go in a specific place here. Pretty cool because you're able to move this widget around just like you would with any app icon. Pretty cool itself, I gotta admit. And then the next thing you notice here at the last, if you slide all the way, you'll notice this new layer, which is called the app library, which you're able to group your uh, libraries in different custom kind of grouping that the phone automatically does put it for you. So you don't you don't necessarily group it. As you can see, it puts the top one up top and the ones that you use frequently and then the other ones at the bottom that you use less frequently. As you can see, I use some of the productivity one less and then gaming ones in the middle and such things, which is pretty cool because you're able to click on one of this without going too much into it and you're able to see all the icons that are available or all the widgets that are available right there. Pretty cool feature. We're gonna be testing it out a little bit more. The other thing you're gonna notice is that on iOS 14 is that a couple of new updates to the Messenger. First one is being able to reply to a specific person in a group chat. So if you have a lot of people on a group chat, you're able to select a person, reply, to them that's pretty cool you're also going to notice this whole other app that's available by default which wasn't available before it's allowing you to translate any language by speaking to it and it can translate to english or another language if you prefer so far i had seen that with the ios 14 the iphone 10s is pretty smooth i haven't seen any glitch or anything like that so that it is pretty stable in terms of just browsing wise. It's pretty fast. There's no lag or anything. I know sometimes with the newer updates, the one thing that you're really worried about is that, is it gonna slow down the phone? And I can tell you this guys, it will definitely not slow down your phone. It is still gonna function the way that it should. I, I think it might have increased it's some of the browsing capabilities and just the whole seamlessness of iPhones that you can see when you navigate through stuff, there's no such lag whatsoever. Even if you open up the camera app, you see things just open up magnificently without really any issues whatsoever on the phone. The other thing you'll notice on the iOS 14 is this whole concept of picture in picture. What that means is essentially if you guys use the YouTube app or any other most video streaming platform is that you're able to minimize any video that you played on Netflix and YouTube, or even if you're browsing, let's say we go, see if we can open up a video here to watch. And then we're gonna show you guys how that looks like. So if I click on videos here and click on videos, and let's click on this here. Well, not in there, but we are going to go try to see if we can just open it up within the, within Safari itself. A new tab. And then, as you can see, if we make it bigger, we're able to hit this button. And now, let's try this one more time here. Let's try it one more time here. Ticket. Well, it looks like Mia DaCosta is set to direct the sequel to Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel 2, set to hit theaters July 8th, 2022. 
Well, it's going to have any trouble, but you're able to do that whole picture-to-picture -picture thing, which is pretty cool. And then for the most of the games, I find there's no issues playing games on iOS 14. Most of the popular games, as you saw, Subway Server, are pretty much compatible and updated. PUBG as well here. No issues as well. We're doing... We're going to be doing a lot more gameplay so you guys can see if you're on the music side. You're able to stream music, no issues whatsoever. YouTube as well works phenomenal, no issues there as well. Reddit still works fine. So all of the social media apps on iOS 14 are pretty compatible, no issues whatsoever. As you see, everything is pretty much flawless. So if you're looking to update your iOS you know, to iOS 14, definitely recommend it. And it's going to be compatible with with this um, iPhone 10s if you have it. The other note feature that you'll notice is this ability to double tap or triple tap to activate features. Here, I'll show you guys if I double tap here on the phone. Or let's try this again one more time. It's not working for me, but... If I go into accessibilities here, make sure it's turned on. Go to accessibilities and then go to touch. And then all the way at the bottom, you'll notice to lock the screen, I put double, you're able to double tap to do anything that's listed here or triple tap to do anything here. As you can see, double tap for me is locking the screen. So if I fully double, double tap here, I'm able to lock the screen, no issues. And then for triple O tap, I have control center. So I'll do a triple tap and as you can see control center comes up. So that's another thing if we do screenshot, pretty cool. If you're a person that likes to kind of use the functionality phone just as you would with 3D touch, now you're able to use a back one to interface with the phone even more, such more cool features on this phone as you notice. And then the other thing around iOS 14 that I found on this phone is that now if you activate Siri, the system, they got a new design. It's supposed to be smarter. And so if we say something like, hey, Siri, what's the weather in New York? You're able to see that now all the information Siri comes up with the pop up instead of that whole black screen that kind of takes over your whole screen. You're able to do other stuff while you pop up information as well. So hopefully guys, this video was helpful. If you guys are looking to download iOS 14, definitely recommend it. It's been stable so far on this phone that I have no issues whatsoever and good luck with it. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time.